Hi everyone, I'm here to do my In My Mailbox vlog of this week. Um, In My Mailbox is hosted by Christy over at Story Siren where we show what we got this week. Um, my In My Mailbox for this week is massive and I actually got so many books in this week that I decided to split it in two. Um, I went to a book fair in the Netherlands uh, yesterday, which is Thursday, um, and I bought 20-ish books. And I got a ton of books in from previous orders, so I decided to split it because 30 books or something like that is too much to talk about. So this is going to be a really long, long video, so I'm sorry about that. I'll try to keep it short, so let's get started. Um, so the first books that I got, I got actually got quite a few Dutch books as well. I got... This one, which translates to a jumpers, uh, like people who jump, and this one translates to mirrors. And these are part in the series. They are called sci-fi thrillers, but um, it seems like there's some kind of dystopian uh, uh, worlds. This one is um, about. They are all about a guy named Mike Snow, and in this one it's the year 3113. And um, there's a girl coming to the main character and tells him her autistic brother is gone, and they um, decide to look for him, and they discover that the world is not what they think it is. Um, they always live through things twice first in real life and then they look it back on the internet or something but so I thought it sounded really cute and this is book one and then this is book three and I actually thought it was book two um, but this one is again about Mike Snow and this one is 2442 the year and this is about this sounded really really interesting because this is about um, uh, a society in which they are able to teleport people into um, the minds or bodies of people who lived before them. So the main character in this book can, um, is going to be transported into the body of Hitler um, to avoid the second Earth War um, that they are talking about. So that sounded really interesting, so I decided to pick it up. This is fr both from a uh, Belgian author. So they don't have English titles, but they sound really cute, so I thought I'd give them a go. They are hardcovers. This one was 2 95 and this one was 3 euros. And I actually looked up the second book and that one was 15 95 so that's a pretty good deal. Then I picked up Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, uh, another copy of my paperback edition. I, of course, have this one already, and I read it and I loved it, but... Uh, this is my favorite book and I like to carry these around with me and my other book will be getting uh, in a not so good state. <laughs> um, the corners are bent and the spine is creased and everything and there are pages just with folded corners and everything. Um, there's something wrong in this book because there's no credit. Not, I don't know don't know what print this is and everything so but the book itself is in great condition so I'm really glad that I picked it up this was 350 and I think we need to pay 15 euros for a paperback copy of this book so again it's a great deal the book fair is basically just selling a lot of books for cheap because they are um, leftovers or um, out of print or they have a weird edition or something so I have quite a few that have weird editions but then I got on purpose I got one book that is the third in the series and that's Ink Death by Cornelia Funk I think or Funke um, this is the third book in the Ink Heart trilogy and I haven't read the first two but I thought the cover was so pretty that I had to have it um, it's so shiny this is holographic and this is the spine and back and even my sister thought it was pretty and she she's not a big fan of books books in general and she does not like the covers that books that I buy and then this is a little introduction and then the chapters look like this 
And I think that's really, really pretty. The book is massive and weighs a ton. The book is well over 600 pages, I believe even over 700. Um, it weighs a lot. It's, well, it weighs more than this big air paperback. So, um, but I really hope that I can find the other two books in this edition. Then I got Sucks to be Me by um, Kimberly Pauly. And this is about a girl who is a vampire, but she doesn't like blood. And I thought it sounded really funny and was two euros, so I thought I'd pick it up. Um, it's underneath, it's just black. And um, the author of this book is the author of YABooksCentral.com. And I didn't even know that, so that's cute as well. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd pick it up. Then... Oh, <laughs> my sister gave me this back. This is the Bridget Jones Diary uh, by Helen Fielding. Um, she borrowed it from me, but she gave it back, and I put it into the box that I got with the books, but I didn't actually get this. Um, then I got Artemis Fowl by Eoin Culver. I have no clue how to pronounce her name. It's E-O-I-N. Um, I always have difficulty pronouncing those names. I have a lot of difficulty with Irish names and the like. There was a guy in X Factor in 2007, I think, um, with Diana Vegas. And the guy, he came in second, I think. And I couldn't pronounce his name. It's so... Uh, but this is the Dutch version and it's really shiny. This is the first book in the series and I've been meaning to pick it up because I got the e-galley on that galley and I thought I'd read it but I haven't come around to it yet and I saw this one for three something so I decided to pick it up and as you can see can you see? Oh I turned it upside down it's usually 12.50 so then I actually got a book for free this is Holly's Inbox by Holly Denham and this is a Dutch version and the book is massive and you got a book for free if you had a little um, uh, ticket for it, a, a voucher. And I got this one and I actually know this is a great book because I gave it to my mentor when I first interned three or four years ago. And she loved it so I decided to pick it up as well. Um, this book is entirely told in emails. And it's massive, it's 600 something pages. Yeah, it's 600 pages, so that's quite big, but it's totally an email, so it should be a quick read. I think it looks cute. <coughs> Excuse me. And then I got a couple of classics. Um, if you've been following my channel or my blog, you know that I do not have a lot of classics because I was not. Um, it wasn't mandatory in my English class to, to read them. So I picked up a couple at the fair. And I got a series of unfortunate events. Um, the bad beginning. Um, I don't know a lot about this, but I know the movie, so I thought I'd pick it up. And then I got The Wizard of Oz by L. Frank Baum. And I think everyone knows The Wizard of Oz, right? And it has cute little drawings in it. Then I got Dracula by uh, Bram Stoker. And um, kind of freaky though. So yeah, I got that one. And then I got Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. Um, again, I think everyone knows Frankenstein. This is just a really um, clean version, no drawings or whatever. And then I got a bind up with Anne of Green Gables and Anne of Avon Leah, I think, by Ellen Montgomery. And I've heard some great things about Anne of Green Gables, so I thought I'd give it a go. And this is a decent sized book. This is over 500 pages and it only cost me $1.95. And actually all these together we're under 10 euros, which is really, really cheap for Dutch standards because we have fixed book prices and because these are all somehow not um, for sale in stores, they are a lot cheaper. So I got these for 1.95 each, 
which is a bargain. So really happy with those. So we'll be finally reading more classics. Um, then I actually saw a book and I tweeted uh, tweeted about this book. It's Charlie Bone and the Red Knight by uh, Jenny Nimmo. And I thought this book was so cute and it looks so pretty and it's so shiny. And I tweeted about it and I thought it was so pretty but it was book 8. Book 8 in the series. Um, and then I actually got a tweet back from someone saying that they loved the series when they were younger. So I decided what the hell. I'm just going to buy it. Um, <clears throat> the back is shiny as well. Um, I'm really hoping that I will be able to find the rest of the series with this shiny dust jacket somewhere on the Amazon or something. Um, and then a couple of tables further I found this one, which is Ch Charlie Bone and the Hidden King, also by Jenny Nimmo, and which is book 5. So I have book 5 and book 8, and I think they look really pretty together. Um, I don't know too much about the book, just that the person on Twitter loved it. So um, I hopefully be able to find book 1 to 4 to start the series, but I'm not sure if I will find them because they already have different layouts because this is Egmont in a black square and this is just Egmont in white letters and this and this is different so um, I think these are out of print which would be a shame because they're really pretty then I got a Dutch series and I'm really excited to read this series um, I bought the entire hardcover set um, they are in Dutch and they do not have English titles, but I will translate them. Um, this one is the first one. Um, the series title is After the Light. Um, this is uh, book one, The Cyclops. And book two, The New Conquerors or uh, Victors. I'm not sure in one co what context I should see that, because, but the guy has bow and arrow and a gun strapped to his jeans. So. And then book three is Children of the Eagle. And this is a dystopian series. And I'm so excited that there's a Dutch writer um, writing about or writing dystopian novels for children. Um, oh, it's written by John Johan van der Velde. And um, this is the winner of the Children and Young Adult Jury in 2005 and I thought that was really awesome. That's um, basically a panel of children. Um, they nominate titles and then eventually vote for the winner. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but this one um, is about uh, a future world, this world where um, most of the world is destroyed because of a nuclear war. war and um, six billion people were killed and there's almost no uh, drinking water and um, this 11 year old guy uh, survives it and his mom survives it too but then his mom gets kidnapped um, and he meets up with another boy I think and they are going to look for his mom and um, it just sounds really really cute and I like the fact that there are Dutch writers writing dystopians. Um, but I got these three for 4 50 each, so I got an entire hardcover set for 12 euros. So that's really, really cool. They look so pretty together. We do not do just dust jackets, I don't know if you've noticed, but um, if we have a hardcover edition, it's just like this. The actual hardcover without a jacket. Then we're almost there. I got um, Bliss by Lauren Miracle, and this one was in the adult fiction, um, in the uh, horror segment, or area. And I actually thought it was some kind of murder mystery because of the blood on the front of the cover. Um, but then I saw it was Lauren Miracle, and I actually only picked this up because I know she wrote a book of short, short, short stories with John Green, and I thought that was awesome, so I decided to pick it up. 
They also had Lady Gator, but they didn't have the other books in the series. Um, I don't know a lot about this book. I just know it's about blood magic. Um, so that explains the blood on the front. And cover. And it's fine. And this one was two fifty, I think, for a pretty decent sized book. And there are fragments of a journal in it, and I thought that was cute. Um, so yeah, Liz. And then, last but not least, yes, we're finally there. I got Children of the Lamp, um, the Akhenaten Adventure, I think, by P.B. Kerr. And um, it's really shiny, I love the look of this book. Uh, it says so on the back, the adventure begins with a wish. And I thought that sounded awesome. It's about um, a twin, a boy and a girl, and they discover they have some kind of power and they are being trained and then they... That's of course just in time for their big, big adventure that's coming up. So that sounds really good, but I was actually pleasantly surprised with the quality of this book. Because it has a gorgeous hardcover underneath. It reminds me of the cover of, I think it's Mockingjay that has this beautiful cover. This is a blue. And it's really good quality. And it was 3 euros or something. And yes, I am a sucker for sales like this. So I'm really happy with this one as well. So, yeah, my box is empty. That's what I got in my mailbox this week. Well, actually, I have more, but those will be coming in next week's in my mailbox. Um, let me know in the comments below what you got in your mailbox, and I'll talk to you guys later.